Hi, I'm Kaiser Sarath. In this video, I'm going to show how you can simply lay out an exact rectangle on the ground with only a few tools. This would be useful for laying out a garden or the foundations of a shed. I use it to mark out the borders of my grove's sacred space. If you're interested to see what that space looks like, there's a link to a video about it in the description. To make a perfect rectangle, you need to mark out perfect 90 degree angles. This turns out to be easy using the Pythagorean theorem we all learned in school. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. I learned this method from Vedic practice, where it's also used to mark out sacred space. You'll need three things. First, a measuring tape at least long enough to mark out one half of the longer sides of your space. Second, markers. They should have small diameters which will make your measurements more exact. This will also allow you to put them through the tag found at the end of most measuring tapes. I use these metal stakes with flags on the end which make them easy to see. Another easily available possibility is shish kebab stakes. Most of all, you'll need to be able to stick them through the links of the chain, which is the next thing you need. Buy a 12 foot length of chain and mark it at the three foot point with a twist tie or pipe cleaner. Then measure out another four feet and mark it again. Finally, link the ends of the chain together. You now have a circle from which you can form a right triangle with sides that are three, four, and five feet long. Three squared plus four squared equals five squared. That is nine plus 16 equals 25. I've also put markers on either side of the main ones in different colors so I can easily see which length is which, something that can otherwise be a pain. Vedic ritualists use rope, but since rope can stretch a, ch a chain is more accurate. These are all the tools you need then to mark out a rectangle whatever size you want. Okay, you start by choosing the place where you want it, your center to be. Put a marker there. I put it through the loop of the measuring tape Make it nice and easy. Now you measure out half of the distance of your long axis. I'm going to be making a 10 by 15 rectangle today. So I measure out seven and a half feet. And I put a marker there. You're going to want to leave your tape there. It'll give you a nice line for the next step. Take your chain. The four foot one is going to go down this way. The three foot one is going to be going down that way. So you put your marker down here, put through the uh, join where the three and the four join. Then you run this right straight down the tape. You've got a nice straight line leading towards the middle. Head down there, Take another marker, go over here, now you get everything just nicely straightened up, and you mark it there. You now have a right triangle formed here. To make it easier, for the other end, you flip it over, do the same thing here. Just make sure that th these three are lining up here, just to make sure you're doing it right. Okay, you're not going to need the, the chain anymore. There, so you can just put that to one side. You do need your measuring tape, though. Bring it down to your center marker here. Measure out half of the shortened side. So that's going to be five feet. Keep everything nice and lined up nice and straight. Now you do it the other direction. And that gives you one of your short ends. You now have half your axis and one side of your rectangle marked out. To mark out the other end, you just have to repeat the process. Measure out half the length of the long axis from the center marker, making sure that it lines up with both that marker and the first one you measured. 
Do just what you did at the other end and you'll have the four corners, center, and center line of your rectangle all marked out. I hope this has been of some use. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments section. Please check out my other videos and subscribe if what I do interests you. Thanks.